Hello friends and students. So we shall see how we can perform hex multiplication. Now it's very simple. If you have gone through octal multiplication, then you would be able to follow hex multiplication very easily. Now when you perform hexadecimal multiplication, when you multiply two numbers, if the number becomes greater than 15, then what do you do? You convert it to hex format by dividing the given number by 16 and you proceed with the normal multiplication as usual. So let's take a few examples and let us see how we can perform hex multiplication. So you know that hex representation is 0 to 9 and 10 to 15 is represented as A, B, C, D, E, F. So let's take an example. Now let's say I need to multiply the two numbers 242 into 26. So now I have 6 into 2 is 12. So what is 12? 12 is C. Now 6 into 4 is 24. So 24 is a number greater than 15. So what do we do? We have to convert it to hex format. So divided by 16. So I get 1, 8. So what do I do? I write 8 and take the carry here 1. Again 6 into 2 is 12 plus 1. So 12 plus 1 is 13. So 13 is D. Now I proceed with multiplying the given number by 2. 2 into 2 is 4. 4 into 2 is 8. 2 into 2 is 4. Now I add these two numbers. So this is C. 8 plus 4 is again 12 which is C. Then you have D plus 8. D is 13, 8. So what do I get? I get 21. So 21 is a number which is greater than 15. So again I divide it by 16 so I get 1 5 right so representation of 21 in hex is 1 5 so I write 5 with a 1 carry so 4 plus 1 is 5 so this is the answer right so the final answer is 5 5 cc all right so the weight of this is 16 power 0 so this is 16 power 1 this is 16 power 2 and this is 16 power 3. So if, if I have to convert this hex to a decimal number, so you multiply C, which is 12 into 16 power 0, plus 12 into 16 power 1, plus 5 into 16 power 2, plus 5 into 16 power 3, you will get the equivalent hex. E, you will get an equivalent decimal number, right? So this is hex to decimal conversion, right? So this is multiplication of two hex numbers. So let's take another example. So I have 4A8 multiplied with Fe. So let's see what happens here if you perform multiplication. So here I need to multiply E with 8. So E is 14. So what is 14 into 8? So 14 into 8 will give me a number which is 112. So 112, you divide by 16 to get its hex representation. So you get 7. With 0, of course. Right? So 112 in decimal is 70 in hex. So I write 0 with a 7, which gets carried over. So now you have E multiplied with A. So E is 14. A is 10. So you get 140 plus 7. So you have 147. So this 147 has to be converted to hex. So what do I do? 147, you divide it by 16. So what do you get? You get 9 and 3. So you write 3 with a 9 carry. So 9, 3 is the hex representation of 147. All right. So now multiply E with 4. So E is again 14 into 4 plus 9. So 14 into 4 plus 9 gives me 65. So again divided by 16 you get 4, 1. So 6, 5 in hex is 4, 1. So you write 1, 4. So 4, A, 8 multiplied with E is 4, 1, 3, 0. So next I have to multiply 4, A, 8 with F. So now what happens? Now f is 
15 so 15 into 8 so 15 into 8 will give me a number 120 so divide 120 by 16 so you get 7 8 so you write 8 with the carry of 7 now f into a f is 15 into a is 10 plus 7 so this is 157 so I have to convert this to hex so how do I convert this to hex I divide it by 16 so I get 9 and 30, right? So the representation of 157 in hex is 9, 13 is D. So I write D here with a 9 carry. So next, 15 into 4. So 15 into 4 plus 9. So I have 15 into 4 plus 9. So I get 69. So 69, again, I need to divide it by... 16 so I get 4 and 5 so 69 in decimal is 4 5 in hex all right so I write 5 and 4 here so now we have finished with the process of multiplication so now we need to add the numbers so 0 8 plus 3 is 11 which is B D plus 1 is E which is D plus 1 is actually 14, which is E. And then you have 5 plus 4 is 9, and then 4. So 4, 9, E, B, 0 is the answer. Okay. So this is how we perform hex multiplication. So you have to remember that if you multiply the two numbers and if it exceeds beyond 15, if the number is greater than 15, convert it to hex format and continue the process of multiplication. And then... When you add, if the number becomes greater than 15, again, convert it to hex, take the carry and continue with the process of addition. So this is how we perform hex multiplication. So make sure that you also go through the other videos where I have discussed hex addition, subtraction and octal addition, subtraction and multiplication. Take a few numbers in practice so that multiplication of two hex numbers would be very clear and you would do it correctly. So do not forget to like, share and subscribe and to view all the other videos of digital electronics click on the i icon or you can go through the playlist where you will see all the videos which have been uploaded in digital electronics do not forget to like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of further uploads and thanks for watching